It's an adrenaline rush that takes you from zero to 60 miles an hour in a matter of seconds. To come upon a fire and, and, and you see the, the amount of fire either coming out of the roof or out the door you're, that you're trying to get into and everybody's running away from it, but yet we're running toward it. Life was awesome until something unexpected happened. I was on top of the world. I had everything going for me. I had just been promoted to drive the hook and ladder truck. Felt like I was Superman. It was July 24th, 2007, a day that changed my life forever. The unit's responding to the structure fire report, single story commercial fire through the roof. My job as a driver of the hook and ladder truck is to get on the roof and ventilate it, open it up with a chainsaw so that the companies coming inside, the fire can actually make their way there without all the smoke and heat upon them. We arrived on scene. I put our aerial to the roof, brought my chainsaw in hand. When I got on top of the roof, I saw fire out of the rear of the building come out of the skylight. And I stepped over a division wall. up on the ground and when I looked around all I could see was orange fire all around me I came to the realization that this was it I was gonna die You can imagine hell on earth. This was it. There's a firefighter through the roof and then fire that he fell into. Then the burn started. You can imagine the first layer of your skin burning off. The second layer. The third layer. And down to your tendons. I came to the realization that this was it. I was gonna die. And all I could see was my life flash before my eyes like a DVD on Rewind. So as a young man in high school, I wasn't exposed to, to drinking and partying. And I took it to the next level. I was doing it quite often. And I went to college. It was all about getting girls. Me and all my buddies. Partying, I live for myself and my indulgences. My dad tried to talk to me a couple times about God. I just blow him off. Not for me, not now. Don't need it. I'm in control of my life. Everybody on duty that day expected a line of duty death. To have a thought of your own casket. And it was real. Death was real. But here's a strange thing. There's something happened roughly 10 years earlier that connected that day and this day. It was a day back in 1995, 
and I was invited to a Bible study. There was a group of uh, eight to ten of us, but at the end, the leader, he offered to those in the room listening to his voice if they wanted to receive Christ as their Savior. There was a still small voice that told me, you need to do this. We all have a debt, the debt is sin. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And it was that day, August 15th, 1995, is when I accepted the Lord into my heart as my Lord and Savior. And from that day forward, everything changed. In the middle of this raging inferno, I had peace. The peace that's rooted in my faith in Jesus Christ. And the scripture that is embedded in my heart is Romans 5.1. that said, therefore being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. And at this point, I had a conversation with God and said, God, I'm ready to come home. I woke up eight days later in the burn unit, unable to walk. Began my intensive recovery of over a year. It was tough, but I learned a lot. We all walk on a razor's edge, thin line between life and death. We're all gonna die one day. The question remains, are you ready? for that day.